In this video, I'm going to tell you why a lot of people are going to come away unhappy from Target if they don't follow these strategies to win the console that they want, the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X that they want on launch day. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to get the console that you want. So Target and Walmart are really kind of a mirage for a lot of people and their laser-like focus on Target especially is going to end up in tears and we're going to tell you in this video how you can not only maximize your chances of securing one from Target either an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 on launch day but also how you can maximize your chances of getting a console period on launch day. Of course you want to try Target, right? And I'm going to argue that if you want to try Target, if they give you a shipping option, you should go with it instead of drive up or pick up, even though that may mean you don't get the same day because that allows you to draw from you other, more than you, the store in your location. And the bigger a pool of consoles that you can actually buy makes it more likely you'll be able to check out in time before they're all sold out right so if you're in um if you you draw upon all the you know consoles in los angeles then you're gonna you stand a better chance of getting one than someone that just focuses on the console that's in your zip code right or nearest to your zip or the the target store nearest to your zip code because you get the chance to buy at all these different stores, whereas that person that goes for the pickup drive up option only gets to, to buy at the store nearest to his or her zip code. The other big issue is just like, because Target and Walmart are really the only ones that have laid out what they're gonna do on launch day, more people are going to be focused on these sold to le retailers and they're even more focused on target than walmart because target seems like it's giving you the chance to get it on launch day whereas walmart you're probably going to ship but i think just a rough back of the envelope ca calculation and right these are kind of averages uh and i think there's kind of some sort of bad math or magical thinking that a lot of people are doing about this uh, that makes them really, really, really overestimate their odds of success if they just focus on Target. Uh, so there's about 2,000 Target stores out there. And if you look at the Pop Finder, we're going to look at the Pop Finder for Target. Seems like there's about 20, 30 consoles per location, maybe less, maybe more. Whatever the average it is, it's not a big number. So if you multiply 25 times 2,000 locations, that's 50,000 consoles, right? And if there's 5 million people that want to get the PS5 on launch day from Target that are trying for it, and there's 50,000 consoles, only 1% of them will get a console, right? So that's a real bummer that you have been waiting and waiting and waiting and dreaming of getting this console and if your odds are the like everybody else, you only have a 1% chance, right? Now, of course, it's going to vary by location, right? But just because there's, if the sales are localized doesn't actually improve your chances. Because uh, let's say that uh, if there's 50,000 consoles being sold, right, and 5 million people wanting to get them, well, if you have... a you know, your particular location has a uh, one one thousandth of that, right? That doesn't improve your odds. You reduce the population by one thousand, but you also reduce the number of consoles by one thousand. So there's only fifty consoles, uh, but you have five thousand people competing for them. Well, that's still a one percent chance that any given person competing for them is going to get a console right so how do you improve your odds well you improve your odds by you know getting all notifications for me at linus wilson at ps5 sales or uh at wario 64 right you know maybe you're gonna get the tip off before other people do right 
how could you do that? You could be refreshing, 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 right? Still, there's been lots of sales where the websites like totally crash or crash before they even go on sale. Uh, and so it's conceivable, even doing all those different things, your, your chances are really low. The way that you can really increase your chances is to have more than one option than target, right? especially options that other people are not thinking about, right? So if Target has 50,000 consoles, but there are other places that have consoles that people are not talking about. And if you're trying all these different places at once, right? And then you, you know, you check out wherever you can first, then you're you're more or less adding up the chances that you can get it. So if you got a 1% chance at Target, but there may be a lot of places where you have a 10% chance if you're quick, right? Uh, so, so that by the end of launch day, you're going to have the best chance of getting a console. And that's, you know, that's why I have this list for you. What is the most, you know, what is your best chance, right? Uh, your, your best chance is to, to try several different things. And so, you probably can easily find 12 pages that you could be refreshing uh, at midnight Eastern time in the USA for these these over 20 retailers who have seen to, in varying degrees, say that they're going to have consoles. Now, they've not, the only ones that have kind of gone out and said it are Target and Walmart. But a lot of these have, you know, took pre-orders. A lot of these have actual pages, order pages. We don't know when they go live, but it's a good, it's a good guess that they're going to go live sometime on launch day, right? And it's a good guess that they're going to sell out not long after they do on launch day. And so, if you are the person that is there, either just when Wario tweets it, or before Wario tweets it. Right, and you were already logged into these retailers like New Egg, and other people who get the tweet from Wario didn't even think about New Egg and weren't logged in, and they have to get their credit card information. Then you are going to check out quicker, right? And you may secure the console when those people that were only thinking about Target coming into launch day will not. So I just want to show you this quickly, this tweet that was confirmed by like earlier memos that I showed you in earlier videos. Uh, and Jake Randall showed you a different memo. Uh, but the important thing is it says pick up, drive up, and ship to home options at Target. So this is a sign at somebody's local Target, right? So if there is the ship to home option, even if it's only with locations within 250 miles of you or whatever, that is going to substantially increase your chances than just going to your individual store. And people that don't do that, they're going to have a lot less chance of securing a console on launch day. So this is P-O-P-F-I-N-D-R dot com. So there's no E in Pop Finder. And uh, we're going to look at the target inventory checker and other inventory checkers. You know, I went through these all these earlier a few days ago, and uh, it showed that there was no inventory for the PS5 except at Target. Uh, but we're going to look at the Xbox Series X since that launch date is coming up. And I really think that you should be, as a PS5 buyer, not an Xbox Series X buyer or S, you should be watching those sales that are happening for the Xbox Series X because it's going to happen similar to the PS5 except four times faster, right? So if you know what's going, what went down in the Xbox sales, you're going to know what... 
uh, it's going down in the PS5 sales. Okay, so let's actually look at GameStop first. Uh, we'll check the inventory. And they, they even have the consoles up. Right. Uh, oops. Here we go. So they know what the popular things that people can't get in stock, right? So we got the PS5 disc edition. Uh, zip code, we're going to use uh, 90210. We don't care about our location. 90210, which dates me, of course. So that's in Beverly Hills, California. And uh, PlayStation 5. Okay, so nothing... Uh, at GameStops, right? Nothing at GameStops for the PS5. But let's go to the Xbox GameStops for the PS5. Let's go to the Xbox Series X if we can find it. There we go. All right, so the skinny is that the, the stores are not going to have much stock uh, at GameStop uh, for the PS5. They had the two waves, and the second wave... Um, even though the, the 90210, even though the people that, and we'll go within 75 miles, the people that did go to the actual stores and camped out are probably going to get their consoles on launch day. But the people that ordered the online starter bundles, they're not supposed to get their consoles until uh, a long time. So, but for the Xbox, your local GameStop will have stock, right? So before we saw zero for most of them, but it's looking like it's somewhere between zero and 10 in the Los, as high as 14 in the Los Angeles area, right? Beverly Hills, right? But probably six is probably more likely. How many, how many Xbox Series Xs you're gonna see, but there's a lot of zeros too. So it's just gonna depend on the store and you probably want to look at this before you kind of go to their doors and stuff, right? And camp out. Uh, but, you know, uh, they they should put up signs for the Xbox, uh, for the your local GameStop. Uh, and, but this is kind of a good way to figure out, like, what's going on. So let's uh, go back to Target, right? Target's the other one, I think, that you can... Get in store inventory for. We'll, we'll do this. Oh, but we're we're on GameStop right now, so we can go back, back. There we go. Target. Right, and we'll do the Xbox Series X too. But you'll find that there there are um, PS5s. You know, the only GameStop that I found that had inventory uh, for the the PS5. Uh, was uh, was in Lake Charles, Louisiana, and I think that's probably because those stores were closed down because they were damaged in a hurricane, uh, a recent hurricane that hit Lake Charles, Louisiana. So here you go. The targets, right, there seem like they're having it anywhere from 2 to 30 of these uh, Xbox Series X in the Los Angeles area. And of course, with Target, you order online and then you pick up, right? But for GameStop, they have let you uh, camp out. And uh, for the PS5, they're not allowed to have you camp out on the launch day. But uh, of course, I don't believe that uh, Xbox has made such an announcement or prohibition. So GameStop will probably let you camp out. Uh, but check your store. There should be a sign in the window on the night before. And then, you know, you'll know how far in front of the line you need to be to get it. Of course, you want to. it's better to be in the front of the line than the last person to get one, just in case they, they fall short on stock and stuff. Uh, but that's a, that's a viable strategy. So we'll just look at the uh, PS5 again uh, really quickly quickly here for target uh so 
90210 stock right and I checked this stock for um, Best Buy but I didn't see anything and Best Buy made an announcement they're only going to do online so I think that even if they they may have launch day stock but it's probably going to be shipped from a fulfillment center, not through your local store. So they'll just ship it to you. Now, you might be able to have an in-store pickup option, but it, it probably will get you to your house just as fast as the pickup option. So as many as 40 in a store, it seems like. So between 1 and 40. So it really depends on the store. So you want to do this before you want to... You know, if you are scheduling the pickup option, you you want to be at the store that has 40, not the one that has one or zero, right? And let's just look at the digital for the 90210 zip. Let's see. Here we go. There's the digital. Right? Uh, and I bet there's not going to be any. So 90210. So uh, my advice, there's been three memos. One was uh, I showed you uh, earlier last week, uh, one that Jake Randall showed his uh, viewers earlier a couple days ago, and then one I got today, uh, and they all, one, po one poster actually that said you can ship. So you see there's zero digital stock. So don't bother with the digital page if you, uh, when you have the chance to order for Target. Uh, but if you ship, you choose the shipping option, even if it's only within uh, from stores within 250 miles of you, you still are making, instead of, of competing for maybe a maximum of 40 PS5s or maximum of 30 Xbox Series Xs, you could be competing for hundreds, and it, it just only improves your chances of getting it, right? Uh, if you expand the the places that you're willing to buy it from it's a it's expanding your chance of actually getting the console but it also means that you probably won't pick it up on the launch day. there's this uh this furniture store in utah called rc willie that has a ps5 page and it also has an xbox series x and s page i think it even has an order page uh for the xbox series x and s and yeah here you go uh, but it says only in stores, right? Uh, so I think they're also probably related to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, so there may be Nebraska locations too. So something to keep in mind if you're in Utah, you might want to look at their locations um, and also kind of their corporate. Not just the, the yeah, they got Nevada locations, Idaho, California. Um, so these... They are going to have the Xbox for in-store pickup. Not a lot of people are looking at them. Let's see their order page again. It says, please note this is coming soon, right? Uh, and it says free in-store pickup, right? And I think if you change your location, then maybe they'll uh, be able to get you a closer one. Uh, if you're in California, Nevada, Utah, all these other uh, locations and I, like I said, I think they're uh, related to Nebraska uh, Furniture Mart, and so uh, it could be other locations too. I think these places may be different places. So Nebraska Furniture Mart, right? Uh, we've got, uh, it's got locations in Omaha, Nebraska, Dallas, Fort Worth, Kansas City, and... Des Moines, Iowa, and so yeah, so it's got, you know, that's kind of more Midwestern, Southwest, right? So if you have, if you happen to be in those locations, this is another possible retailer. Let's see if we can find the Xbox Series X. So it's not showing it. I do you think they have a console? Let's see if we can find consoles. It's showing right here. Um, we'll try PS5. Is 
a lot of consoles. It does show the old consoles, but I think they also have the new consoles if I can find the page. So those are the ones, but we want to see the series. Let's see, maybe on page two. No, it looks like they have it down. They used to have one up, but keep them in mind. Give them a call. Uh, and then in terms of uh, RC Willie Legit, right? Their reviews, RC Willie, that's the Utah Furniture Company. Trust Pilot, that's 3.6. I've seen a lot worse. Uh, and then uh, Better Business Bureau, I bet they have an A-plus rating. We'll see. Uh, let's see. It says A-plus, right? So definitely it seems like a decent place. They got Yelp reviews. You could go by whatever you want. But just do the – spend the, the minute to do a Google search on these places that you're unsure of. And I, I think in most cases it will reassure you, right, if you – is Amazon legit? Let's, See how that does. Uh, no, it's a. Uh, let's see, Amazon Trust Pilot. Let's see what that comes up. See, Amazon's review on Trust Pilot is 2.2, right? And you trust Amazon, right? So just keep that in mind, right? That that these ones that don't have a perfect rating on Trust Pilot. But maybe they have an A plus Better Business Bureau rating. You know, they may have a better rating than than the retailer that you know. Like Target, Trust Pilot, 2.3. RC Willie had a better Trust Pilot rating. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to get the console that you want.